Hi YouTube. As you can see, I'm in the process of turning over this back garden again. This is our kitchen garden. But I want to show you how I use that broad fork and why I think it's indispensable for a garden like this. So one thing you can see is that going through this with the broad fork has clearly fluffed it up. This particular uh, fork, I don't remember offhand the brand name, it might be Meadow Creatures or something like that, but this is an 18 inch broad fork. So every bite that I'm taking, you're taking soil from 18 inches down and pretty much bringing it up. When I went over this garden in October, uh, I went north south. So now I'm turning it over again. I'm going east west. That way, any spots that I may have missed going north south, there's a good chance that I'm going to pick them up. So, what I want to do is finish this up, just explain to you the technique I use when using a broad fork. And along the way, uh, as I said, I'll try to point out some things that I think make broad forks amazing. So I like to go back about 12 inches from my previous row. So you sink it as much as you can just by gravity. Then one or two feet, but what you're doing is rocking back and forth and forwards and backwards until you are sunk all the way to this. Some bites are easier than others. But I'm all the way down now. I'm just nice and easy. Start rocking it back. It'd be easy to hurt your back doing this job, I think. So don't jerk on it too hard. It's nice and easy. Start working it back. Pretty soon it lets loose. And there you go. So we pulled up some roots here now that we can get rid of. And then we take the next bite. Same technique. Rock it forwards, backwards. You're just letting your weight and gravity do the work till you're sunk. Till you're sunk all the way in. Rock it back. Turn it over. You can always, if you're not sure you got a good enough bite, I'll come up a few inches, go over it again just to make sure. But that's turning over really nicely. These broad forks are not cheap, but they do a job that no other tool can do. What is the message you want to communicate that's so important? The other thing that's awesome is, as you'll see here, when it does its work, you pretty much take what's underneath and put it on top. So you're truly mixing the soil as you turn it over. So what was on top is now buried. So the wood ash that I've added here is now put into the soil. It's no longer just a top dressing. That is nice loose soil. All right, so you get the idea. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll talk with you again afterwards.
there we go. It's about a, I'd say this is about 20 foot by 10 foot, so this is about a 200 square foot garden. It took me two hours to do this, so it's not exactly fast, not exactly easy. I know I burned a lot of calories doing this, but now we got a 200 square foot garden turned over consistently to a depth of 18 inches. By the beginning of April or so, we'll bring the little tiller up here and till what we need to plant. But in terms of turning this garden over, it's done. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I convinced you of some of the benefits of a broad fork. We'll see you soon.